Hello Plymouth Luke Pollard here, your Member of Parliament. I've just left the Chancellor's budget to hear what is happening in terms of getting the economy back on track. And I'm afraid, although there's some bits for the South West which are welcome, investment in a road scheme in the north of Plymouth which has been long overdue, some extra money potentially for Cornwall, I didn't recognise the optimism that we saw from the Chancellor. Families in Plymouth and right across the South West are facing a real struggle this winter. Inflation is eroding the value of people's wages, food prices are going up, gas and electricity prices are going through the roof, and filling up your car at a petrol station is costing more and more. It's harder and harder for people to make ends meet this winter. But the Chancellor presented like everything was okay. I want to see some realism, a clear plan that will help people pay their bills. The fact that the Chancellor refused to reverse the £20 a week cut to universal credit that the Conservatives have pushed through tells you everything you need to know. I want a budget that is going to support working people, support the South West economy and importantly invest in the urgent action that we need to deal with the climate and ecological crisis we're in. But it was only a few days ago that the Conservatives voted against ending the discharge of raw sewage into rivers across the country. We need bolder and more urgent action on the climate. I'm afraid we didn't get that from the budget today. We need to see more help and, and support for those people who are struggling over winter. We didn't see that. The Chancellor should have cancelled VAT on gas and electricity bills. That would have made a really big difference to families over the winter period. That's 5% cut in the price of all our bills. But he chose not to do that as well. But if you're a banker, you'll pay less in tax. And if you fly domestically, you'll pay less in APD. And if you like champagne and bubbles, you'll pay less tax on that. So that doesn't seem to me to be the right priorities at a time when our country is really struggling. But in saying that, we know from four previous budgets that much of the announcements, uh, many of the announcements uh, unravel in the next few days. So let's look at the detail and let's get stuck in because it's about time that the South West got our fair share of funding, which we haven't had so far. Thanks so much, brother. See you soon.